Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Classic G Body Garage. My name is Brian, and this is another G Body how to video to help you on your G Body projects. Today, I'm working on this beautiful 1987 Cutlass 442. Now, as beautiful as this car is, it does have a problem with it. The owner is complaining that the check engine light is on. Now, that is a real annoyance for those of you who have an 80 through 88 G Body. So, what I'm going to do in this video is go ahead and show you how to pull the codes from the computer, find out what's wrong with it to help you get your G-Body back on the road. All right guys, now before I go any further in this video, please click on the link in the upper left hand corner. There you will find the G-Body how to playlist. Now within that playlist, there are a series of videos to help you out on your G-Body. And if you don't find what you're looking for, leave a comment below, give me a suggestion for a future video. All right, now in the introduction, I mentioned that the check engine light is only found on the 80 through 88 G-Bodies. Well, that is because GM started putting the computer in late 1980, and that followed through all the way through 1988 when the G-Body was done, unfortunately. So. Let me go ahead, get inside this car, turn the key on, and see if we can get that check engine light to turn on. All right, so the owner of this car is complaining about the check engine light constantly coming on every time he runs the car, and also complaining about a high idle. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead, give it a pump, fire it up, and right now I can see that the check engine light is not on. The car is running. So what I'm gonna do is get a little bit of gas, rev it up a little bit. The idle seems to be okay with it. Just under a thousand RPMs, which is pretty much where it should be. So let me go ahead and put it in gear and take it down the driveway a little bit and see if the check engine light comes on. Sometimes they'll come on relatively quickly Oh, and there it goes. Just pull it up a few hundred feet, and the check engine light has come on. All right, so we did confirm that the check engine light comes on, and unfortunately, there is a problem with this 442. So, what would you do in this situation if it was your vehicle? Well, normally, you drive it down to your local auto parts store or your local mechanic. They would use a diagnostic tester similar to this one here. They would use this port, plug it into the plug, under the dashboard, the tester would read the computer system of the car, punch in a few keys, and voila, it would spit out the codes right here on the screen, let you know exactly what's wrong with your vehicle. Well, that's all great and dandy if you have a newer vehicle. Now, newer vehicle, we're talking 96 and newer. That uses the OBD2 system, which this tester reads. Now, 80 through 88 G body and 80 through 95 General Motors vehicles, they use the OBD1 system. So guess what? This tester that you see in most cases, garbage, can't use it. So guess what? We're gonna have to get creative and find out how to pull the codes from this 87 Cutlass. All right, now since our OBD2 diagnostic tester is out of the question, how do we go ahead and pull the codes from this G body? Well, on all 80 through 88 G bodies, the diagnostic plug is located underneath the dashboard, underneath the radio. And that is that funny looking port right there if you ever wondered what that was. Now you can see the shape of that plug is a rectangle. Now the shape of the OBD2 plug is a rectangle with the sides pulled in. So there is no way this diagnostic tester is gonna plug into that port right there. So how do you go ahead and remove the codes from this computer? Well you can see, Inside of that port, there are several electrical connectors. And what we're gonna do is get creative. We're gonna take a paper clip, cut it until it looks like this, and we're gonna go ahead and short two of those leads together. And the two leads that we're gonna to short together are port A and port B, just like in this image right here. All right, I have my paper clip plugged into ports A and B which is found in the upper right-hand corner of the diagnostic plug. Make sure your ignition 
is in the off position before plugging in your paper clip. All right, paper clip is in place, key is in the off position. Now, what I'm gonna do next is turn the key in the on position. Now, before I do that, I'm gonna walk you through exactly what's gonna happen. Once I click the key in the on position, the check engine light here on the dashboard is gonna flash for a split second, then it's gonna shut off, then it's gonna run through a series of flashes. And each series of flashes signifies a number. It's going, it's going to flash each series three times. The first series, it's gonna flash the number 12, and the, and the series following that is gonna be the trouble codes. The number 12 that it flashes is signifies the basically the operation of the computer. It's basically saying, yes, I'm okay. Every GM car from 80 through 95 is gonna flash 12, and that just signifies that the computer is functioning. Okay, now when I say it flashes the number 12 and numbers thereafter, which are the trouble codes, the check engine light itself doesn't show the number. It still just flashes check engine. And what happens is to flash the number 12, it flashes it as so. Flash, 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 flash. Three times. Then after that are the trouble codes. Then after that, if depending upon how many trouble codes there are, it'll start back at 12 once again. So let me turn the key on and I'll show you exactly what happens. All right, there's the quick flash. Now it should flash 12. One, one, two. One, one, two. One, one, two. That's the 12, now the trouble codes. One, one, two, three. 13. One, one, two, three. One, one, two, three. Code 13. One, two, one. Code 21. One, two, one. One, two, one. Code 21. One, two, one, two, three, four. Code 24. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. Let's see how many more there are. One, one, two. All right, so we're back to the beginning. So we have code 12, which signifies the functionality of the computer. And then we had code 13, and then we had code 21, followed by code 24. So go ahead, turn the key off, pull the paper clip out, and that's how you pull the codes. All right, guys, well, it's as easy as that. Using a paper clip to pull the trouble codes for your 80 through 88G body, and of course, this is for all 80 through 95 General Motors vehicles, all using the OBD1 computer system. So we wanna find out what these codes mean, right? Well, there are websites out there for that, and I'll go ahead and put a link to that website in the description below. Within that website, you will find all of those numbers listed out that the computer flashed out, and it'll tell you what each one of those numbers mean. All right, in videos to come on G-Body How To, I'm gonna fix this 442 based on the trouble codes that I found in this video. So make sure you hit that subscribe button below. Also, there are a couple links in the description below for the Classic G-Body Garage Facebook and Instagram pages. So make sure you click on those links as well. All right, guys, well, that's it. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did. Hit that subscribe button. And until the next Classic G-Body Garage video, keep those G-Bodies rolling.